Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 25 Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to be covering all things chickens and continuing our coverage of all the animals available in FS25. If you haven't seen any of my other Tips and Tricks videos, I do suggest going ahead and checking out the playlist. I've got a link in the upper right corner as well as a link down in the description. We're going to be covering just about everything and anything there is to know with respect to Farming Simulator 25 in that playlist over the coming weeks. But today, let's talk about chickens. Now, chickens are one of the most easiest animals to keep with respect to Farming Simulator 25, with the only easier animal being bees, and we have a separate video dedicated to those. Your chickens are going to require fairly simple feed requirements. It's going to be easily be limited to one of a few different food sources. Sorghum, wheat, or barley are going to be the three grains that you're going to be able to provide to your chickens in order to feed them. And as far as outputs, well, chickens are going to reproduce as well as they're going to output eggs. Eggs are going to be able to be used over at the bakery for cake production, or you can use them at the preserved food factory for noodle soup production, or you can just sell them directly. In addition, chickens cannot be transported with your traditional animal trailer. So you're not going to be buying them down at the animal dealer, nor are you going to be able to transport them from one pen to the next. Chickens are going to be pretty much stuck to whatever pen you put them in, which means you will need to pay attention to the overall pen capacity as these chickens reproduce and sell off the older chickens. That way you have room for the younger chickens as they hatch because we both produce eggs and offspring, not one or the other. Let's go ahead and take a look. We can buy newborn chickens at zero months of age for $5. We can get six month old chickens for $50 and we can buy newborn roosters for $5 a piece. Now our newborn chickens will reach puberty at six months at which time they will change and transform into the adult chicken. And then from that point, every two months, your adult chickens will reproduce in a one-to-one -one ratio. Unlike real life in farm sim, you do not have to have a rooster in the pen in order to reproduce. It is via magic, farm sim magic, if you will. Now, all of these pens are going to have three triggers. We're going to have a food trigger. We're going to have the buy and deliver trigger. And we're going to have a trigger for our eggs. Let's go ahead and take a look at our choices because we've got a fair number of choices with respect to our chicken pens. We're going to jump here into build mode and we're going to jump over to our animals. Again, to get into build mode on PC, it's shift P on console or if you're on a controller, I'm sorry, I don't know how to tell you how to use those because one, I don't use a controller, nor do I have a console. Now we have the chicken pasture, which we see right here for $2,450 and it's going to hold 31 total chickens. Then we have this nice little structure for $4,400. It's going to hold 30 chickens. We have two smaller coops. They are going to be located right here and they're going to be $5,700 for the one on the left. It's going to hold 20 chickens and the one on the right is going to be $6,900 and it's also going to hold 20 chickens. Then we move up to some larger buildings. We have a shed with open chicken pasture. The larger shed here on the left, it's going to be $25,000. And it's also going to be able to hold 20 chickens. We have the smaller shed, which oddly enough is $30,000. And it is going to hold also 20 chickens. And then we have the chicken coop, which is a building that is coming over from Farm Sim 22, and it's going to be able to hold a total of 360 chickens. And it's going to be $79,000. So, other than this shed right here, we're talking about pretty small time chicken keeping with respect to the others because the quantities are fairly low. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of these different chicken coops. Right, so we have our dump trigger here at the silo. We have our buy and sell trigger. 
And then around the side, we're going to find our egg trigger here. Our larger buildings, we have our egg spawn point. We have our food trough and our chicken delivery point. And these are going to kind of be free range chickens, if you will. The larger the two buildings, we have our egg spawn point, our food trough, and our chicken point. We have the two small little coops here. We're going to have our egg spawn point here in the front. For both of these, our drop off point and our food along the side for both of those. And then I really like this building. Kind of wish I could go inside it. We have the drop off here in the front. Food trigger here by that little silo. And then we have the egg spawn point located right here. Now, with respect to feeding your chickens, you can buy pallets of chicken feed, which are basically bags of wheat in either pallet format or big bag format. Or, of course, you can feed your wheat, barley, or sorghum via a trailer. If we go here to our vehicle shop, under animals category and then the food subcategory, you're going to find a pallet of chicken feed, a.k.a. wheat. It's going to be $1,500 per 1,000 liters. Or a big bag of wheat is, again, going to be $1,500 for 1,000 liters. But if you happen to have wheat in your silo, then you're going to be able to easily feed that as well. You're going to need a pallet fork for the eggs that are going to spawn or with respect to feeding pallets of chicken feed. And if you're going to use a big bag, then you can make use of this big bag lifter, which is also available down to the shop in the front loader tools category. I was just going to demonstrate how we use the big bag lifter. Just going to come to that. We're going to hit Q to connect. And I really like the animations we have on these big bags. They kind of stretch. They get a little floppily. And flail around. And we're just going to come around here to our feed trigger. And we're going to position it over our feed trigger. Let's not have any accidents. And it's going to dump into the feed trough, just like you see there. And then with respect to, well, your pallet feeding, it's going to be pretty much the same thing, just with a set of pallet forks. Except with respect to this little Schaefer, it's probably going to be a bit more stable than the big bag because the weight is going to be lower to the ground. Or, as I mentioned, you could simply feed directly from a trailer. So here we have a trailer load of wheat. And we're going to bring this over to our food trigger. And unload. Just like that. So let's go ahead and check our animal screen here. So we have our chicken coop with just five six-month-old chickens. You see the food capacity of the trough. We have our eggs. We have our productivity, our reproduction, and our health. Since they only take one food source, grain, be that either wheat, barley, or sorghum, then whatever we dump in here is going to go towards the total overall food capacity, which means that we're going to be able to easily keep these guys at 100% productivity and 100% health. You see we have then our chicken pasture in the little white barn. Then we have the two animal buildings, the small chicken coops. 
the open pasture. All of those options listed there. Now, in addition to a front loader with forks, then you might want to also invest in a trailer or truck with a flatbed in order to transport your eggs. Let's go ahead and move forward one day and see these eggs spawn in their individual locations. Go ahead and fast forward a day, as I mentioned, and you can see here that we do have some eggs starting to spawn on a pallet. We have 57 pieces for this particular pallet. A pallet is full when it reaches 1,000. Now we do have far more chickens in this coop than we have our other coops. So over here where we only have five chickens, I have a total of 16 pieces of eggs in our pallet. And I have the same number of eggs over in this coop. Now these are the only three coops that we <laughs> These are the only three coops where we actually provided animal feed to them. So the other coops that we have here, they did not produce any eggs whatsoever. You can see what a full pallet of eggs is gonna look like. And again, our eggs are gonna be able to be used either to direct sell, or we can take them down to a bakery and the bakery is going to use our eggs with respect to cake production. So here we have our eggs as our input. And if we look at our cake, well, you can see that they are going to require eight eggs as well as eight of lots of other ingredients in order to make 21 cakes. So I've placed down our little, our kind of mini, mini bakery. Then we have two different bakery models available as placeables in the game, kind of an American style bakery and then a European style bakery. Or we could put down the preserved food factory and the preserved food factory is going to take our eggs and it's going to make noodle soup. So we can come here to noodle soup, either flour or rice flour. And we can see we either need to provide flour and eggs to get our noodle soup or rice flour and eggs in order to get our noodle soup. And here I have the larger preserved food factory pre-placed or a smaller preserved food factory placed down right here. Now, of course, you could sell your raw eggs if you wanted to over at any farmer's market, be that the large farmer's market here on the map or one of the two smaller farmer kiosks, one of which is right down here at the main road for our starting farm on Riverbend Springs. We also have the ability to place that kiosk. It looks like this. Then we have a larger kiosk that we could also place down if we wanted just a different looking structure. So guys, that is it. That is pretty much everything you need to know in order to successfully keep chickens here on your farm. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Keep an eye out, as I said, for other videos. We're going to have videos on all of the animals, and then we'll be making our way into other topics like the various crops available in FS25. And until next time, happy farming.